Let's start with the information given on the question. ABCD is a square. Point P is the center of the square. And we are asked the radius of the circle. First, since we know that point E is the midpoint, line segments BE and EC will be 1 over 2 units. And since point P is the center of the square, chord PE will also be 1 over 2 units. Now let's drop a perpendicular line from center of the circle to chord PE. This perpendicular line passing through the center will bisect chord PE. Next, let's create this rectangle. Now we can transfer these lengths across the rectangle as follows. Also, since point P is the center of the square, line segment AL will be half of one side of the square. Now let's connect point A and point E. So we have created a right angle triangle ABE. And we can use Pythagorean theorem on this triangle to find the length of the line segment AE. Let's put the values into the equation. From here, the length of the line segment AE can be calculated as square root of 5 over 2 units. Now let's extend chord AB as follows and call the intersection point with the circle as A'. prime. Line segment BA' prime will also be 1 over 2 units using symmetry. Then let's connect point A' prime and point E. And focus on triangle A' prime BE. You will see that this is a right angled isosceles triangle with 45 degree base angles. Now let's draw these two line segments which are the radius of the circle. Also, we can see that the 45 degree angle is subtended by arc AE shown with orange color. Notice that this central angle is also subtended by the same arc. So it must be 90 degrees. Finally, let's focus on this triangle. We can apply Pythagorean theorem on this triangle to find the radius of the circle. From here, 2R squared will be equal to 5 over 4. So R will be equal to square root of 10 over 4. And that will be the answer to the question. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you on the next one.